हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द पार्ट कितना है कितने पार्ट्स हो चुके हैं भाई कितने पार्ट्स हो चुके हैं एक मिनट में ट्राई करता हूँ ये पार्ट फोर हो चुका है ठीक है ओके हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू द पार्ट फाइव ऑफ स्क्विड गेम करेक्टर बॉल्डिंग सीरीज सो दिस इज द फिफ्थ पार्ट एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी विल बी टेक्चरिंग इट इन सब पेंटर सो वी विल एक्सपोर्ट आवर करेक्टर फ्रॉम हेयर एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट द टेक्चरिंग स्टॉप इन सब सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल before exporting the character we have to check up two things first of all select all and apply the scale and rotation and after that click here and click on face orientation to check the face orientation that uh, is there any normal flipped or not so click on face orientation and now as you can see it's showing us that this object is actually flipped so we will go to the edit mode select all and alt n and then flip to flip our normal so it's fine now let's just select all and control a and make it rotation and scale again applied and now select uh, uncheck this option again select all go to the file export fbx so we will be uh, exporting the fbx one so just name it simply like squid game character and click on selected object mesh so we will be just moving the mesh and the empty one if there is any and down here uh, applying scaling we will be choosing the fbx unit so it work also for unity best so after this if you want to export the character to unity so always check this option and here is the back animation so we don't actually need the animation stuff for now so i will just remove that and let's just leave the default like this and click on export fbx so now as you can see our fbx is now exported let's just uh, open up the substance painter okay so go to the file click on new click on select and open up and browse the where you have the file so i have it on my desktop so i will click on it open and let's just make this uh, uncheck this option auto unwrap so because we already unwrap it in blender so we don't need that so just uh, leave the rest of it as it is and click on okay so now as you can see it's imported with alt and left click you can rotate your character 3d view Okay, so first of all, we have to back this to get the ambient occlusion and other maps. So for that, I will go to the edit and then click on. Okay, so our character is back. Click on OK. And if you want to see just the ambient occlusion map, just click on the material and go here down to the ambient occlusion. And as you can see, it's our map. If there is any issue, then you can solve this by improving your UV texture. And now, as you can see for now, it's just fine. So I will leave the rest of it like this. So click on the material. and let's start texturing it so by watching the reference okay so this is the reference so first of all we have to do a little plan for here so as you can see we have uh, the pink material we have the hand material we have the mask material and we have the zip and the build details so it's like we have to create the four materials for this okay so i will uh, put this image in the second screen so i am also watching there okay and now here we will create four folders so click on new folder here and let's just create four folders and name it like that so here i will name it this one pink so it will be the pink dress the second one will be mask hands which is actually the gloves and the last one will be the extra remaining so we will put all the remaining stuff here so first of all just add a fill layer and grab it here to the pink one and just rename it base so it's just the base color and let's put pick up the uh, the color from the reference so i need this color we can also adjust the color here so don't have to worry for that so i think roughly this color is fine for now let's just increase up the roughness a little to something like this Okay, so after that we have to mask this. So click, right click on it, add a black mask, and start masking. So for mask filling, I have to click on the polygon fill, and then click on this option to choose the mesh fill, and just select this one, this one, and this mesh, this one, and this one. 
okay so that's it uh, I will just minimize that and select this folder add a new layer fill layer and drag the fill layer here just make it base base and we will be choosing a black color for now so just pick a color from here increase the roughness to like this right click on it and add a black mask and select all of the stuff which is which include in mask so I will select these two so these are basically the mask but there are two types uh, two parts of the mask so which uh, the first one is this one which is a flat color and this one is having some details so I will separate this in, under this mask so I will just select add an M for one and add a new layer or just control D and make a copy of it and we will be call this base so it's the base mask and this one is the uh, you can call it details base details okay so first of all select on this one right click add a black mask turn off this one to see like how this layer is affecting so I will just click on this one okay so now select this one and add fill now right click black mask go to the mesh fill and click on this mesh okay so that's it now for the next one uh, we have to do the hands so just simply add a fill layer drag it here call it base or anything you want and add a simple color so you will be adding a black color here too and right click add a black mask and fill this one okay so the final stuff we have remained is the extra one so here we have to add some few layers so first of all this will be the button so it will be this one a plastic button and we will be pick a pink color like this but let's just select all the extra stuff here so then you can mask after that so it's the subfolder so we can select all of the stuff that are remaining okay so now after button we have to add the built one so just add a copy up here with control D and just add a color black right click add a black mask select this one and also if we see the reference same like this one is also having a black color so I will put that okay so the final thing I need to do is to add the shoes so for that let's just uh, make this one name this one dress and control D and make this one shoes so we will add a simple black color right click black mask and if now this tool don't work cause it fill all the mesh so we don't need that so I will be just let's just try it with uh, UV fill so cause I uh, here I add a seam so I can now fill it with the UV fill so just click on that and it will fill it like this okay one more thing that I need to add is the zip one so control D make a copy of it right click black mask and let's just try this one so I will so this one I will be filling with the face fill or polygon fill so just right click this one this one this one this one okay so that's it and as you can see in the UV editing let's just find this in the UV editing so okay so it is this one so just select all like this with drag and let's just fill this one okay so if in some case you fill that and you want to unfill that so just press X to opposite the mask and then try and then if you click it will uh, remove the mask from that place so as you can see 
after it's working like this which is fine okay so the next detail that we need is the center of our zip so I will just add a folder here and let's just first rename this zip and let's put the zip here okay and let's see select the mask right click copy the mask from this one right click on the folder black mask and paste the mask here so I will call this one zip and and simply remove the mask from here right click and remove mask and just control D make a duplicate and add a white color here and right click click on black mask and now simple as that we have to fill it with the corner so just fill this one okay so the basic filling is done now we have to uh, it's time for adding details so to the best dress I have to add a normal map so I will provide this normal map uh, if you join my discord server you can get this normal map from here so I create a discord server uh, where you can post your problem and you will get a solution and also you can share your artwork here and by going to this grid game character and this group here you will find the textures so I will simply paste it here So these are the two textures we are using so you can download it from here the link of the discord server is in the description so join that okay so now just select these two texture and drag it to your shelf and select these tools with shift and click on undefined and make it texture click here project untitled import and now these textures are imported so this one is for the fabric so I will just put drag this one here and as you can see it has been added but the scaling is too big so I will select on the one and add here a value of 20 so let's see how does it look also we can try the value 15 so it will be a little more visible to us or maybe 10 okay 13 looks fine okay so as you can see uh, this one is also added to our shoes but we, we don't need it here so I will right click on it add, add a white mask instead of black cause we have to just remove it, remove it from here so I will go to the polygon fill and click on the UV and just drag here and if it don't work then it means your mask is uh, you have to invert the mask so just click X to invert the mask and drag it like this and as you can see we remove that from here so that's what we need and now go here to the mask so I will un, uh, minimize this click on mask so we have the two masks one is mask detail which is the this part and this one is the main part so here we have to add the normal map so for that just select this layer and drag the second normal map here to our normal channel and you, as you can see it has been added we have to click on UV projection and we have to uh, convert this to triplanar projection cause this one works better and we will put a value like 3 and 3 looks fine let's just move this one a little here and as you can see it has been fixed so it's looking fine okay so the next thing we have to add is a triangle or any sign you want so for that I will just control D duplicate this right click add a black mask and select this one we will be using a white color and we will remove this uh, normal map because we don't need it and just uh, remove all the channels we need the color channel only click on the mask and go here to the alpha and search for triangle so as you can see we find this triangle which is the exact, sh exact shape we need so by clicking fx uh, you will get a, an orthographic view so there you have to you can get the better view and you can click paint this mask so before that I want to turn on the mirror so we will put this in the center like this and just click and as you can see it has been added like this 
Okay guys, so that was the simple and easy way of texturing our Squid Game character. I try to texture it very basic and make it very easy for you guys. So hope you like it. And in the next part, we will be finally uh, rigging and rendering this character inside Blender. So follow up with us and for now, bye.